Shlomo Graber says that he survived hell, as did his father. The rest of his loved ones were not so fortunate. Most died in the Holocaust. Yet he feels very little resentment today. Why should I have any hatred? The current generations have absolutely nothing to do with that. Shlomo Graba was born in Czechoslovakia and grew up in Hungary, but he's lived in Basel in Switzerland for almost 30 years. He's written several books about his experiences under the Nazis. He's never forgotten the brutal murder of his mother and siblings. We were simply separated. Women with children to the right, men to the left. The SS selected people. My mother just vanished, like a cloud. That was the first blow in my life. The fact that I know how my mother and my brothers and sisters were killed. Yet Shlomo Graba likes life. He paints expressive, brightly colored works that his partner displays in her gallery. He's found a way of dealing with the past. There are so many Holocaust survivors who have lived their whole life with the Holocaust. They've not been freed from it. They live with it constantly. It's the opposite with me. I can talk about the Holocaust, but that doesn't mean I have to live with it. He may not live with the Holocaust, but he has forgotten none of the humiliation, violence, hunger, exhaustion, forced labor and death. However, he has only ever painted one picture referring to that time. Everyone said that God would help them, but those who waited for God died. And I said to myself, God won't help me. I have to help myself. That was the will to survive. Shlomo Graba often gives talks about his experiences to school children. He's one of the last living Holocaust survivors and one of the few who can give a direct insight into an unimaginable past. They said, from now on, you're not humans, you're subhumans. And they gave us a number. I was 42649. Graba refuses to give in to feelings of hate and revenge. His message to everybody is that hatred is destructive. I think it's impressive that he chose love over hate. We simply can't imagine it, none of us. And the fact that he experienced all of that and told us about it was very moving. Shlomo Grava is optimistic about the future. He's not even worried about the rise of the far right across Europe. There was no war in Europe for 70 years. I'm not worried because I like the system. I'll be able to leave the world later because I know that it's going to be okay. <laughs> Until then, he'll continue to talk about his experience so people can learn from the past.